Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. So this is the final part of the show. I had so much fun this weekend, it was amazing. And I hope you guys enjoy watching reptiles and you love animals. If you do, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps promote the videos. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enough of me talking, let's get to it. Based off of a very active dart frog from the wild eating about like 300 fire ants a day, that's how they gauge the toxicity levels off of an average wild caught dart frog. And from there, they've just given us projective like studies and stuff on how it all resides, blah, blah, blah. I never knew that. Yes, yeah, sir. Wild. Absolutely. That's what I'm here for. Tampa on the 26th and 27th. In Tampa, two months ago, we killed it. We, I love I love that show. That's a good yeah. show. I mean, we have we had more vendors at the Tampa show than this show, and the foot traffic was just insane in a tighter space. So we were we were crowded. Looking for a pet snake? It might Sorry. be hers. Uh, no? Okay. Yeah. Room, that's a female. Like the females get a little Thank bit you. Then they have one for that. So basically, if you get a green there, depending on what you read and depending on what bait you get, you get a mystic. And you read that to a mystic. Wow. It has like blue in it. Wow. I don't have spiders, so they amaze me. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. It's the best way to teach people is to show them. Man, one step at a time. Gonna jump out. <laughs> oh wow. That's crazy. How long have you been breeding these? I've been doing this for a very long time. Wow. That's amazing. 
You want to see anything else? Let me know. Oh, I'm looking for So this IMG boa is probably my favorite snake at the show. I love boas and the ones that are dark like this. In person, they give off like an iridescence of blue. Just amazing, amazing snake. been established you know does it doesn't make any difference on their health uh, or no, not really, really. you just okay. defraud them also yeah i mostly feed live because i'm not live and i got feed frozen dogs so and not, 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 um, and on, this on is just a pair of forceps and stick in front of them produce enough for myself and that's about it. Yeah. Years ago I used to when I didn't have so many snakes. Yeah. You do um mice and rats or just rats? Mice, rats and a few sulfurs. I heard that somewhere. Yeah, I think rats are a little bit easier to breed. That's really good. <laughs> mice can be a little picky, a lot of times they'll eat their babies. Yeah, I know.
I was circling your table, but uh, I couldn't get in, so I was like... It's the little boy banana. As it grows, it's going to get more yellow, and it looks like it has pepper going down its back. On a close-up, you can see uh -huh. a stripe that's not really a stripe, it's just an open pattern in between the two markings. Yeah. This, that, is, this is a true banana. That you know, one has a black belly? Yep. Oh wow. That is a beauty. You know, well, it used to be popular in the 80s and 90s. You don't see much anymore. These chocolates. I get a look at the chocolate? Sure. Okay. Now, the, uh, the high whites came from the banana line. Oh, okay. Got out. You want to see the chocolate? You want to see one of the stripe? Or? Oh yeah, that one. That one's nice. These things used to be very popular. Now you don't see them anywhere. You all hatched out this past June and July. Would that be like a, a hypo? Or? I didn't breed it as a hypo. I, do, I wouldn't think that this has hypo genes in it. They're 100% head albino, that I know. And the striping is not perfect all the way down to the tail. So I really do hope they have more of these Reptilian Nation Expos coming up out here in South Florida. I did check and the next one is in Las Vegas and then the following one after that I believe is in Texas. But uh, they don't have any more coming out here in Florida this year. Hopefully they start having them because it's a real nice show. I do love Repticon but they have so many shows. Sometimes it feels a little bit watered down. This show had a real nice feel to it. And the only other big, big show out here in Florida coming up, Orlando, Tampa, and the big, big one, Daytona, I'll be there. So I'm looking on my phone right now because you guys have been leaving so many great comments. I really can't wait to get out to another show. So I got on my phone and I'm looking, Repticon, so the next show that I probably will be at is in February, Tampa. And then the following one after that will be Fort Myers and that's in March. So for those of you who've been watching my channel loyally, thank you so much. And for those of you who just found my channel, I do these walkthroughs quite often. So feel free if you enjoy these type of videos to subscribe. I also have a big collection of colubrids and plan to vend at these shows in the near future. But uh, I'm having so much fun taking everyone on the journey, doing these videos. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next one.